Hello, you are welcome. How to simplify the square root of 20, 21 raised to the power of 3 minus 20, 19 raised to the power of 3 minus 2 divided by 6. Now, what we are going to do first is just to copy the numerator. Let's copy this numerator out. We have 20, 21 raised to the power of 3 minus 20, 19 raised to the power of 3 minus 2. This equals, we can rewrite this 2021 20, as the summation of 2019 and 2. So we are going to have 2019 plus 2, that becomes 2021, raised to the power of 3. Then let's proceed. We have minus 2019 raised to the power of 3, minus 2. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we can say let x equals 2019. If x equals 2019, we are going to have x plus 2 raised to the power of 3 minus x raised to the power of 3 minus 2. So at this point, we need to apply this identity. If you have a plus b raised to the power of 3 this equals a power 3 plus b power 3 plus 3 times a b times a plus b so in this case if you want to apply this right here that means our a equals x and b equals 2 so we will insert it right here we are going to have x power 3 plus 2 power 3 plus 3 times 2x times a plus b that is x plus 2. Now what are we going to have? We are going to have x power 3 plus 8, 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8, plus 6x times x plus 2. So definitely this will give us x power 3 plus 8 plus if you multiply this out you are going to have 6x squared plus 12x so what do we do let's add is there anything for us to add no let's just arrange it x power 3 plus 6x squared plus 12x plus 8 so let's take note of this i'm going to remember we still have minus x power 3 minus 2. So let's bring those ones here. So we have minus x power 3 minus 2. Now that means this definitely will cancel this. And 8 will subtract. We subtract 2 from 8. We are going to have 6. So this will be 6. So we are going to have 6x squared plus 12x plus 6 that is it now we are going to copy this right away this now becomes our numerator so we will transfer it to where we stopped previously i think here so our numerator now becomes let me take a look at it 6x squared plus 12x plus 6 so we will copy it down here so we have 6x squared plus 12x plus 6. So this now becomes our numerator, what we have here. Now, remember, we had a square root. Let me make a space here. We have a square root of the numerator divided by 6. So we are going to have the square root of 6x squared, that is the numerator, plus 12x plus 6 divided by 6. Have you seen that? Now, the next thing we are going to do at this point is we can factor out 6 from here. We are going to have square root of 6 times x squared plus this will be 2x plus 1. Have you seen that? Divided by 6. If you multiply this out, you are going to have this again. So 6 will definitely cancel this 6. So we are going to be left with just the square root of x squared plus 2x 
plus one. Now let's now work on this. Let's copy it out. X squared plus two X plus one. Let's factor this or let's factorize this. We are going to have X squared plus X plus X plus one. X plus X is two X, right? So we go again, X here, X here we factor X. So we have X times, if you divide X power two by X, we are going to have X. Then if you divide X by X, we are going to have one plus one. Then we do the same thing here. We are going to have plus one times X plus one. So at this point, we have X and plus one here. And we take one of these. So we can as well rewrite this as x plus 1 raised to the power of 2 because it appears two times. Now that means we are going to bring that down here. So that means our square root will now become, we are going to have this equals the square root of what we have here. Remember, this as a result of factorizing this particular expression, right? So we are going to insert the expression here. We are going to have x plus 1 raised to the power of 2. So the square root here, we will eliminate the square here. So what we have left, we simply have just x plus 1. And what was the value of our x? Let's find out. So we we'll go and check where we equated a value for x. Here is it, we have let x equals 2019. So I will copy that 2019 down here. Recall we had x equals 2019 so I will insert it here we are going to have 2019 plus 1 and this becomes 2020 so the value or our final answer is simply 2020 so you can come here and write this as equals 2020 so that's it for this video I believe you enjoyed the class please don't forget to subscribe share this video to your friends Thank you and goodbye.